Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. We're going to do the evolution of the soul to see how you're evolving in uh, this thing called life and going from there. Um, also, I will clarify tarot from an empath perspective or from your perspective in regards to you growing and learning from the past and also from the energies uh, that you have been dealing with and then also clarifying that to see how you're overcoming that energy um, and see how you learned from the energy of the past. Um, yeah, especially when it comes to losing and uh, true love, things that you feel like have held you back in the past. And so we are going to pull from this type of energy to see it says your soul is asking for change phase of self-discovery and creation a time of confusion and feeling lost so you feel lost and it could be when it comes to uh true love and so we have experience in true love in your life being in a loving long-term union a selfless and unconditional love is what you really want at the end of the day and at the bottom of the day the answers come from within it doesn't come from a person place thing or situation it comes from within and so feeling lost you have the answers that you know and that you seek or that you know you 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 have the answers to the questions that you need to be answered am I saying that right um, and therefore you need to understand that sometimes it takes for you to see things from a different perspective a different light to go from there and to be able to evaluate all of your options especially when it comes to this thing called love, if that makes sense. And so that's kind of how I see that. And so, again, the bottom of the deck, is it says the answers are within. Connecting to your higher self, strengthening your intuition, letting your intuition guide you so you're not looking for anybody to answer these questions. You're looking for, uh, you're looking within in order to get out of this lost energy. And that comes with, um, again, wanting unconditional love wanting true love those types of things are hard to come by and sometimes when it comes to dealing with certain types of people which entails me pulling from the archetype deck uh, and also uh, traits of love deck it comes from you having to understand that you can't expect this from a person you have to expect it from yourself so it it takes for you to love yourself and that's like oh yeah um, never-ending story of redundancy or a never-ending story of hearing you know the same thing over but you have to unlearn to relearn and that's because you the type of people and energies that you deal with it says gold digger um, in a relationship for money obsessed with status manipulate others with looks and charm the type of people that you deal with respectfully it's okay because we have to run into those same energies until we learn the lesson and yeah the defeat is until you feel defeated you start looking you stop looking outside and start looking inwards if that makes sense has given up on love expects or accepts failure in love self-defeating attitude stands in the way so again you're lost because you don't know how to overcome uh looking at a certain type or falling for um whose song is that falling for your type i forget it's um jamie fox i think um but the thing is is that you keep looking and you keep finding these same types of energies because you're looking for someone to complete you and those energies deplete you the same energies until you learn that lesson that it comes from you you have to love yourself the way that you want to be loved nobody can love you that way and then when you open those doors for other types of love then those type of energies will come towards you um i'm going to pull from the true emotions deck to see what comes out um in regards to this energy but yeah you have to know that you know with true love comes with you being lost because you're steady searching for that type of energy if that makes sense and so um yeah look at that shady all of these energies yeah bad credit came out in my last read so my last read was called they can't defeat you because again they want to and actually oh wow yeah this is a continuation because the gold digger came out and the bad credit came out the jazabelle also came out in this i don't know if it was this deck or whatever but this basically is how they find love is by trying to see what they can do to manipulate others and to um, 
supporting their habits, if that makes sense. And so you learned that you have to have emotional stability and emotional control, especially learning how to discipline yourself, especially when it comes to love. And that's where this energy comes out at. So we have, yeah, crazy ex obsessed. And then it says, won't let go. And it says feeling like shit. They won't let go because they feel like shit because they left you hanging with no closure and turning back. They're turning back to you um, and losing sleep because they see that, you know, they've been shady and it says twin flame here. So they probably feel because they've heard you say, oh, you're my twin flame or you're my soulmate, which came out in the last read soulmate. Um, but they didn't believe it. And now they're like twin flames. So they're Googling and researching the twin flame energy. Like, why can I, why am I so obsessed with cancer? It's like Mariah Carey's, why are you so obsessed with me? Um, uh, song, you know, uh, to, I think she wrote that about Eminem, but my point is, is that, you know, you, they can't get you off of their mind. So I'm gonna pull from the hidden, hidden, the hearts, hidden secrets deck to see what comes out exhaustion that came out in the last read ecstasy chasing the thrill so they were chasing that thrill and again now again for you to move forward and you had to end this journey that came out of my last read as well so this might be for you if you're watching this if that makes sense hold on my grandbaby's crying she she mad at her dad hold on <laughs> Okay, so their shadiness of them chasing the thrill is where they realize, again, they're confused because of the way that they did things in the past and that it didn't get anywhere with you. So that is where it is. She's time to take a nap, so that's what's wrong with her. Anyway, so when it comes to this energy, you had to realize that that lost thing that you were searching for comes with you actually understanding where your confusion lies at and why you have to look within and you know not feel defeated understand that you know no man is your enemy no man is your friend every man is your teacher and that is growth unbridled joy of uh, the sun energy you know you have to be able to enjoy where you are at this present moment and go from there and understand that you had to learn from the past oh Rafiki says you can the past can't hurt you can either run from it or you can learn from it and you choose to learn from every experience and when people see that you're still happy even though they left you hanging hanging and exhausted and confused and all of these different things because of the way that their actions the justice energy consequences of their actions actions uh causes them you at one point to lose sleep but the eight of cups energy to have to walk away from those energies of them playing games right and so you have choices they have to they have choices but you choose to start over and um turn your back on that energy and learn to love yourself and not wait on anyone to love you and that is yeah not being in limbo you know because of somebody's shady behavior because you feel like this is a twin flame lesson learned um you just walk away from it and that's your rewarded sacrifice when it comes to dealing with certain places people and situations especially the shady ones that come into your life you know they you know them losing you is basically why you have to learn to manifest things when things don't go your way you're not wishing ill will on them you're basically yeah doing what makes you happy lovers energy card of gemini you're doing what makes you happy and going from there and when it comes to you walking away that comes with you being able to learn to manifest the love that you want but it comes from within ouch i was gonna that hurt it but i was gonna put that over there so we can see yeah you have more options seven of cups energy but you're able to plant the fruit or plant the seed of moving forward it says fruits to labor so you basically learn from the exhaustion gold digger type shady energy that left you hanging and kept you losing sleep and now they're the psycho who thought you were probably being the psycho and then when they start to really research you know that they're chasing thrills then they say oh well cancer was my twin flame no unstoppable force cancer is an unstoppable force and is not going to let one person stop the flow now again seven years um it took for you to be able to start enjoying life again but you are doing what makes your heart happy lover's energy because this person couldn't do that 
because left you hanging in limbo, hangman energy. Look at the energies. Look at the difference. You don't want closure. So the hangman energy in regular tarot um, is them hanging uh, upside down. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, picture it because now that I'm trying to talk about it, it's not in this. This is this is you doing this by choice. The other one is, and I'm gonna let me pull it because that's gonna drive me crazy if I if I wait and try to tell you exactly what the what the card looks like. But basically, here it is right here. Let me get the card there. It's them hanging from um. Hold on. It's going to come. It's going to come to me. It's them hanging, somebody hanging them, not them hanging by choice, if that makes sense. So um, that is what the hangman energy is. It's totally a difference on how you choose to perceive this type of energy now moving forward. And so when it comes to the old tarot, here it is right here. This is somebody actually, you know, putting him up there. You see his foot is up here hanging from the vine. And instead, on these energies this is totally different even though you're coming up with ideas uh light bulb moment you're hanging you have to figure out how to release yourself here you're holding yourself um up nobody has tied you here does that make sense and so this is the difference when it comes to the energies that you're a part of does that make sense and so again doing what makes your heart happy and since i have the regular tarot out I'll go ahead and pull some energies to see what comes out, you know. And and again, you aren't confused anymore. You aren't lost anymore. You're dealing with yourself. You have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. Page of Cups energy is the, the lack of opportunities um, that you seek or you have to be the one going after your dreams and also being happy about the things. And, you know, there's going to be sensitive energies of this certain situations. But the surprise is, is that you are the dreamer. You are the one that's going to figure things out. We have the um, page of wands energy. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing is real is the present moment. As I say, oh, Rafiki says the past can hurt. You can either run from it or you can learn from it. And it comes out with the King of Pentacles in the world card, a completion of you having discipline in leadership, abundance, business, and your wealth is coming to fruition because you chose all of these are options here. You know what's causing you sadness. You know there's opportunities and you know that the past can hurt, but you chose to learn from them and to be disciplined and do what makes your heart happy. And that comes with you seeing the beauty in yourself and creating the things that you want, the love that you want. And also that is where the exhaustion came in at. So you've learned to be tough. You learned to be ambitious, to go out, go with, to know what you want and go after it in a single minded determination. You learned that the answers are within and you're not going to be defeated anymore. The confusion is gone. And this is the energy because here's you being the mother of the Zodiac the queen of pentacles energy, the, the, the person who will nurture and finance and love and loyal and all of these things, but this will get you in debt and limbo, which is all the same thing as left you hanging. You will be financially, physically, mentally, and spiritually in debt because guess what? This gold digger will take, take, take and leave you hanging at the end of the day. And that is what these cards mean. They don't care what they have to do in order to have a contract or have, you know, some type of um, um, to somebody to support their, their, their endeavors, their finances. They don't care who they exhaust. They don't care any of that situation. So you're going to go into debt trying to please this person and sometimes it costs you to be stagnant. But when you learn the difference between the types of you waiting and being patient but not holding on to certain situations, then it becomes a rewarded sacrifice. And this isn't where it's at. It's this. So then the tables turn. Tables turn, bridges burn. You live and you learn. Bad credit, debt, and unemployment comes with you learning what wealth is, what business is, what discipline is, what leadership is, and what it's like to be abundant and to be the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups energy. 
but not to go back into the struggling energy because you have the insight and knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. And when it comes to you having to plant the seeds, seven of cups energy and manifest the things that you want, you know that it's up to you to create and to see the beauty. And that is how I see that and going from there, if that makes sense. So there you have it. Um, the confusion is not there anymore. You know, if this is a twin flame or a soulmate, any way it goes, you're not waiting on an answer from someone. You're waiting for the universe to send it to you and go from there. And nobody can leave you hanging anymore. Let's go ahead and let's see. Let's just go ahead and let this energy go. I believe this is a really good read. We're going to pull from the crystal deck and also from the four agreements to see what comes out. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements, click the link above and the, also the crystal deck which is the chakras be impeccable with your words replace fear with love oh yes the past can hurt but you can either run from it or you can learn from it oh Rafiki says so you're learning from the past and that goes with the page of wands energy yesterday is history tomorrow's a mystery the only thing that's real is the present moment so enjoy it so replace fear with love it says Sorry. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continuously, continually being, continually being planted. When you are impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. And that's what true love is. And fear is when you're lost and you're exhausted and you're losing sleep and you're worried about how somebody else's actions are and you're replacing that then we have the doo -doo -doo -doo, unikite which is the heart in the third eye chakra spiritual insight trusting in the universe right and it's the balance and it's release spiritual insight balance and release you're releasing the things that no longer serve you i am here to flourish not to be stagnant you are here to be the king the empress is to create to be a magician and to do what makes your heart happy and that is also to be the true leader the king of pentacles says there's no reward without risk create opportunities don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely and that's what you're doing so let's let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.